What's up, guys? It's your boy, Ultrosity, here, coming at you with the first series we've had in a while. Just finished up a year of college, and I'm in summer break now, so we're going to get to try out some new games, hopefully get some new videos up. As far as trying out games go, though, honestly, I have already played Elden Ring a while, as you can see here, but I've been really loving the game. It's all I've been playing for the last little bit, so I wanted to make a playthrough for it. So, let's get started. Sorry, just adjusting the mic volume. So, the thing about Elden Ring is there's not, like, great stopping points unless you go to the, like, story bosses, which are pretty far apart. So, these videos are either going to be long or... They're going to stop and we're... I don't know. You're, we're just going to have to pair together. They might end up being pretty long, like less commentary, more gameplay focused. Which would be great because the gameplay in this game is fantastic. But, you know, we'll try to do them as good as possible. It won't be like a role-playing thing like the Skyrim videos. But, I mean, it'll showcase the game. I'll try to do most of the stuff. There's just so much in this game. So, I won't get to everything in this series. But, I mean, we'll play the entire game and it'll be a good time. Now, I've started out Confessor and Samurai. I really liked both of them. I did, like, a Incantations build on him, and I did, like, ended up doing a Sword and Sorcery build. They're both fun. I don't know. I really like doing... I loved the Katanas the first time I used them, to be honest. So, I think that's what we're going to go again this time. Now, aim. Uh, let's, let's go atrocity for this one, since this one's for the viewers. I have, I have saved body types, I think. Oh, I just have the one. I still wanted to load it, yeah. The one, we don't want to go white hair, though. This was for my Geralt playthrough I did from The Witcher. I thought it looked pretty good. Face is a little off, but proportions and hair and stuff is what we were trying to rock. We're going for a samurai this time. I like that. That's a good looking guy. Not any cosmetics or tattoos do they have? good you can't really see it much because his eyes there but it looks pretty good definitely don't want an eye patch i don't know i haven't played with an eye patch yet i don't really get it uh we're not gonna spend too long on this just because you know i already did most of it but yeah, we mainly just change the hair i think that'll do it though let's go keepsake definitely want the golden seed if you guys don't know the golden seed gives you an extra flask and at the start of the game that is incredible got the bow got the uchi katana and let's get it drinking coke today goes with my red setup uh not sponsored by them but i wish we were i just looked away from the mic so that probably is going to sound like absolute trash on the Before audio the leaves, tell a story Queen 
Marika the Eternal is nowhere to be found. And in the night of the Black Knives, Godwin the Golden was first to perish. Soon, Marika's offspring, demigods all, claimed the shards of the Elden Ring. The mad taint of their newfound strength triggered the shattering. A war from which no lord arose. A war leading to abandonment by the greater will. Oh, rise now, ye tarnished, ye dead who yet live. The call of long lost grace speaks to us all. Horalu, chieftain of the Badlands, the ever brilliant Gold Mask. Fear, the deathbed companion, the loathsome Dung Eater, and Sir Gideon Ophnir, the all knowing. Your boy, a tarnished of no renown, cross the fog to the lands between to stand before the elder. And become the Elden Lord. All right, this tutorial area here. I'm not going to use any of these because I'm playing offline. The boss here is kind of a scripted death. You can technically beat it, you just die afterwards, but probably not going to be able to beat it on the level 1 character, guys, to be honest. We'll give it a try, though. I don't, don't even have any flasks. Stop blocking my shots. Mm. Definitely meant to have my sword out. Wow. Alright. Not a good showing. Not a great start, but that's okay. Meant to roll there. <clears throat> fine. I'm not gonna cry inside or anything. This is my first Souls game, but I have played it like twice all the way through now, so it's not really a fair statement anymore.
That's not entirely true. I did play some of Dark Souls 1, but it was like 10 minutes of it on Sephiroth's Xbox one time. Shout out to him, by the way. Dropping some great content, even when I have made absolutely nothing in forever. So, you know, if you like my vids, his are way better. So you definitely love his. You should go over, give his channel a follow, you know, check out his Twitch. He is very active, so it'd definitely be great. Don't worry, Torrent. Fortune is on his side. We found him here, after all. I think they could make me not be laying face down in a puddle. If they're so helpful. One of his kind is sure to seek the Elden Ring. Even if it does violate the Golden Order. Screw the Golden Order. I have some kind of paper on my side. I wonder what that is. All right, now the actual game. There's a little tutorial area here. Um, I guess I'll do it, just so I can kind of show off some of the stuff in the game early. These are great. If you played Souls before, they're basically just bonfires. You can rest at them, heal up, and reset your spawn point. There's multiplayer. Not using the multiplayer because we're playing offline. Did I miss the tutorial thing? Because this is. It's in, I thought it was in that cave. This just goes outside. Oh. Alright. Didn't have the tutorial thing. That was interesting. Whatever. It just shows you how to fight and stuff. It's not going to be super important. Sorry, we don't want to fight him. He'll mess us up. Come to the lands between for the Elden Ring. Of course you have. No shame in it. Unfortunately for you, however, you are maidenless. No, you're maidenless. Without guidance, without the strength of runes, and without an invitation to the round table hole. This is just rude. You are fated, it seems, to die in obscurity. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. Now, we don't want any of him right now. We might be able to choose the tree sentinel since I have a bow, but I don't really want to choose the tree sentinel trying to give the full experience here so we'll come back for him you're a tall i can also see that you're not then why not i am carly this guy is a merchant he buys and sells stuff you know you should buy us a crafting kit essential really. You I've never once crafted a single item in this game. I don't understand even what it's for, to be completely honest with you. Goodbye for now. I've beaten the game multiple times, have not crafted a single item. So definitely don't need to be buying that from him. Maybe there's something that makes it way easier and I'm just a absolute fool, but it is pretty hard. I definitely understand the soul's appeal because, you know, you lose to something 20 times and you want to come back for more. That is not something I would normally think about. But this game makes you want it. You want to beat everybody. 
That guy's armor better than mine? Nope. Oh, I have a shield. I don't really use shields. I not bothered to learn how to parry. I get that it's like good. I just at this point it's too late. Yeah, the katana is so much nicer than some of the other starting weapons. Way easier to use. This is the first kind of area in the game. I'm gonna go over to the side of Grace before I attack it. And because there's a bunch of enemies here. This game is also enormous. Like, you could beat the game in 30 hours if you just wanna do all the story bosses. But I mean, you could play 100 hours on a playthrough. Easily. She's back. Greetings, traveler. From beyond the fog, I am Melina. I offer you an accord. Her eyes messed up, but that's okay. She's beautiful anyway. Have you heard of the Finger Maidens? I've heard that I'm maidenless. They serve the Two Fingers, offering guidance and aid to the Tarnished. But you, I am afraid, are maidenless. Thanks for reminding me. I can play the role of maiden. Oh? Turning wounds into strength. Is that a euphemism? In your search for the Elden Ring. You need only take me with you. To the foot of the Erd Tree. Is that a euphemism? Then it's settled. Summon me by grace. To turn wounds into strength. I bequeath to you this ring. Let's go. Got the horse. To traverse great distances. It will summon a spectral steed named Torrent. Torrent has chosen you. Treat him with respect. 